Hi, on today's show, I'm going to test the quality of the DaVinci printer once again. Only this time, I'm going to use an official print that was used in Make Magazine to test 15 other printers back before the DaVinci was even around. So I'm going to test this print on the DaVinci. Here's a print as it was seen in the magazine. The Thingiverse file shows the arch with nine poles here on the back and then there's holes, one that is six-sided hexagon, plus the box which has different thickness walls. So I brought the file into the XYZWare for the DaVinci printer. Now this is where my print may have been a little bit different. I hit export and left everything where I thought was default. Then later on I realized if I would have hit the default button it would have changed from a 0.2 layer height to a 0.4. But I haven't seen a major difference between 0.2 and 0.4 on the DaVinci. So I let it go. I also printed with supports. And then I let it slice and it took roughly about two minutes. Here's a close-up of the finished design with supports in place. It was ready to print. So here's the prints. I actually made three of them. The first print I didn't use supports for the arch. And that's the result. It didn't have the support. The print didn't come out very good as far as the arch. But the rest of it is perfect. I mean the holes are good. The hex hole is good. The bunch of studs or, or posts are good. The box shape with the different walls looks really really good quality just the arch so then I printed with support and the thing I noticed every one of them printed the little tab which I didn't see on some of the prints in the magazine so this is one with the support still in place just came out of the printer really and then here's one with the supports removed so overall this quality is as good as anything I've seen from the magazine. So if this was entered in that same contest or that same competition, I think the Da Vinci would have done just fine. The tweaks that I've done to this thing over time to improve it, I mean minor tweaks as you can see in some of my other videos, really make a difference. But once this thing is tuned up, these prints are excellent. So I would say that this is a complete pass. Now anybody that says I cheated because I didn't use the default settings, I went back and printed at the point four. And you can see there's not a big difference between the point two and the point four. I get really good prints out of the point four. In fact a lot of times I'll print in point four because it's faster. Now the, around the holes you can see a little hollowness on the outside and the posts are a little bit rougher but overall it looks just as good. So if you like this video, check out some of my other videos. And if you like my channel, please subscribe. And I'll have more for you in a future video.